Good morning and welcome to today's finance meeting. Uh, the final one of 2014 to 2017 session. My name is Julissa Ferreras Copeland and I am the chair of this committee. We've been joined by Minority Leader Mario, Majority Leader Van Bramer, Council Members Gibson, Cumbo, Cornegie, and Johnson. Today we'll be voting on two items, a transparency resolution and an LEU item. Let's start with the transparency resolution, which sets forth the new designations and changes in designations of certain organizations receiving local and youth discretionary funding and funding pursuant to certain initiatives in the budget. Organizations appearing in the resolution that have not yet completed the pre-qualification process conducted by the Mayor's Office of Contract Services, the Council, or any other entity are identified in the attached chart with an asterisk. As with all transparency resolutions, Council members will have to sign a disclosure form indicating whether or not a conflict exists with any of the groups on the attached list. If any council member has a potential conflict of interest with any of the organizations listed, he or she has the opportunity to disclose the conflict at the time of their vote. As a reminder, please disclose any conflicts you may have with the proposed subcontractors used by organizations sponsored by discretionary funding. These disclosures must be made before the subcontractor can be approved. Rohan Grant from the General Counsel's Office is here and can assist you with any questions or concerns regarding the disclosures. We also will be voting on an LU item, the Banana Kelly Project in Council Member Salamanca's district in the Bronx. This property would receive a full 40-year property tax exemption to preserve 21 units of affordable housing under the city's HDFC program. Council Member Salamanca supports this project. Before the roll is called, I would like to end on a personal note, as this is a bittersweet day for me. Today, of course, is the last time I will chair the Finance Committee. It has been an extraordinary honor and privilege to serve as the Council's Finance Chair these past four years. There are many people for me to acknowledge and thank. First and foremost, thank you to our speaker, Melissa Marguerito, for the trust placed in me to serve in such a crucial role amongst my colleagues. Your legacy as a leader of this body is an exceptional one. Both the city and the council are better off because of the efforts you have made these past four years. I must, of course, also thank the speaker's chief of staff, Ramon Martinez, for his advocacy on behalf of this institution and its members, but also for being a very direct and clear friend. To my colleagues on the Finance Committee, Majority Leader Jimmy Van Bramer, Minority Leader Stephen Matteo, Council Members Corey Johnson, Helen Rosenthal, Danique Miller, Laurie Cumbo, Mark Levine, Robert Cornegie, Vanessa Gibson, and Idani Sardigas, I have enjoyed working with each one of you, and this committee's success results from the work we have done together. Aside from the hundreds of hours of budget hearings we sat through together that helped inform the passage of four budgets, we have passed 51 bills on a wide range of issues from providing tax relief to veterans and small businesses to combating deed fraud to increasing oversight and accountability over the city's tax expenditures, we preserved 14,414 units of affordable housing across the five boroughs. We created 3,354 units of affordable housing and we created six business improvement districts. The committee councils have prepared a summary presentation of the committee's accomplishments this session, which each council member can find at their desk in front of them. To the council's finance division, your knowledge and expertise and invaluable, are invaluable to this council, and none of these victories I mentioned would have been possible without your hand, your hard work, and tireless dedication. Thanks to our incredible finance director, Latanya McKitty. I could not have asked for a better partner as we negotiated the last four budgets and the numerous achievements we, received, we achieved together have undeniably had an enormous impact on the people of the city. It has been a truly rewarding experience working with you and developing a friendship that will last beyond my time at the council. I also want to thank the staff, our wonderful finance division staff, Deputy Director and Chief Economist Dr. Ray Majeski, Deputy Director Regina Parita Ryan, Deputy Director Nathan Toth, Deputy Director Paul Simone, Assistant Director Emra Ediv, Finance Council Rebecca Chasen and Eric Bernstein, Supervising Economist Paul Strum, the Finance Unit Heads Isha Wright, Chima Obicheri, John Russell, Dohini Sampura, Krillian Francisco, and the Finance Analyst and Economist Jessica Ackerman, Aliyah Ali, Sebastian Bachi, John Basile, Sarah Gastelum, Hector German, uh, Kenny Grace, Zachary Harris, Elizabeth Hoffman, Sheila Johnson, William Karamateng, uh, Jin Lee, Kyra McDonald, 
Jeanette Merrill, Namira Nuzat, Caitlin O'Hagan, Jimmy Regis, Steve Reister, John Seltzer, Kendall St Stephenson, Andrew Wilbur, and Davis Winslow. I also would like to thank the finance support staff, Nicole Anderson and Maria Pagan. And just when I finally got to learn how to pronounce your names, I'm leaving. Um, last but certainly not least, I'd like to acknowledge my amazing staff, past and present, you all should be incredibly proud of the work we have done on behalf of the people of my district and of this city. And with a very, very happy holiday season to all, and unless there are any questions on the two items, I will ask Billy Martin for the last time, the committee clerk, to call the roll. Okay. Are there any questions? <laughs> um, seeing none, uh, Billy, please call the roll. Billy Martin, committee clerk, roll call vote committee on finance. It's been an honor. Chair Ferreras Copeland. I proudly vote aye. Rodriguez. Aye. Thank you, you uh, Councilwoman, for your leadership and good luck in your future. Van Bramer. Permission to briefly explain my vote. Uh, I just want to say, as someone who has uh, known uh, Jalissa Ferreras Copeland for almost 20 years, uh, who literally taught me how to dance uh, merengue, uh, um, that is a true story that Jalissa knows. And I do it well, Rob, honestly. Um, uh, I just want to say thank you. Uh, obviously, you know the 21st Council District is close to my heart. My mom grew up there, um, and it's been uh, an amazing journey uh, for both of us uh, since uh, the late 90s when we came to know each other through politics. But uh, I wish you and your amazing family so much happiness uh, and so much joy, and, uh, and know that you've done an incredible, incredible thing here on behalf of your district and your family, your mom and your dad, who I love, as you know. Um, and uh, really, there's a, a great legacy uh, that you leave that uh, hopefully uh, can be built upon uh, in the next session. But thank you, congratulations, and, and all the best to you. And I vote aye, right? Um, Gibson. Permission to explain my vote briefly. Thank you, Madam Chair, and I too want to join all of my colleagues and really commending you for a job well done. Um, it's been an honor to serve with you as your colleague, as your friend, as your sister, uh, fellow Women's Caucus member. Um, certainly there is so much we have in common, uh, chairing really important committees, both finance and public safety, and I am so proud of the work we've done collectively over the past four years. The investments we've made in summer youth, in all year round youth employment, and certainly from the public safety perspective, having really difficult conversations about raising the headcount at the NYPD and supporting police officers through training and technology and all of the resources that they need to do their jobs as public servants. It was a difficult conversation and you took it on with me head on and I will never, ever, ever forget that. So um, as we leave each other, certainly um, we will remain friends and we will remain in contact and I wish you all the very best. I know that God has something greater in store for you in your next chapter of public service, but whatever path God takes you on, know that you are loved and appreciated, and we truly are grateful for you. Um, you've been a role model for so many women. Certainly for me, as um, chair of public safety, it hasn't been easy chairing this committee, but I've certainly looked to you for a lot of leadership and guidance, and you've always done that. And most of all, pray for me as I pray for you. And so I wish you all the best. Thank you for serving us so ably as our finance chair. It's been a great pleasure, women leading this body, and I look forward to what God has in store for both of us. So thank you so much. Que Dios te me diga. God bless you, and I vote aye on all. Thank you. Carnegie. Permission to very briefly explain my vote. Um, as I heard everybody else's comments, I was thinking about mine and which ones would be appropriate for public consumption. <laughs> And I, I, came, I, I came up with, um, you are going to be truly and incredibly missed. My other comments uh, will be private. for later okay. in private. <laughs> and you vote aye? I vote aye. Thank you. <laughs> Combo. Permission to explain my vote for as long as it takes? <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> 
I just want to say how proud I am of watching you over these last four years with each budget negotiation to see you, the speaker, and the mayor uh, all standing there together made me feel so proud. And I want to thank you for your leadership, for your guidance, for being a dynamic and powerful woman that we could all look up to and support. And I thank you uh, personally and professionally for helping me through learning how to navigate becoming a mom being a council member, running for office, and having a controversial land use deal all at the same time. You were the only woman that I could talk to about all four of those incredibly dynamic things because you had uh, stepped out before me, which gave me the confidence to know that it could be done. So I thank you. I thank you for teaching me how to make baby formula, for helping me through all of those tough experiences. and. You are a role model and you are battle tested and anything that you go on to do is going to be phenomenal. So Marilyn, watch out. Thank you so much, we love you and I can't thank you enough for your leadership and I proudly vote aye. Johnson. I wanna congratulate you, Jalissa. It's very exciting for you and your family. After four years, I remember four years ago you had just had Julian uh, after the 2013 election and to watch you chair this important committee and to be a mom and to uh, navigate the balance between work life and family life while serving your constituents. As Lori said, working on complicated land use projects like Willits Point even after it was done or supposedly done, um, I think uh, really is a testament to you being a role model, not just for women here who are elected, but women who work here in the council, and men who need to see uh, strong women do these things. So I want to just congratulate you and um, tell you I'm wishing you the best of luck, and with that I vote aye. Matteo. Uh, I'm going to start by um, echoing um, your comments, Madam Chair, about your staff and, and staff here. Uh, just you have been tremendous to work with over the last, uh, for me, two years since I became minority leader uh, and a member of this committee. Uh, I've known a lot of you since I was a staffer, so I want to start off by commending you, and I think we'd all give them a, a well-deserved round of applause. <laughs> your work is certainly appreciated by every one of us here. Um, Julissa, I have nothing to say to you now. <laughs> Uh, it's all been said. Um, you know, uh, Corey uh, said a uh, role model, and you certainly are a role model to uh, to just about everyone uh, who comes uh, across your path. Uh, I've known you for a long time as a staffer, and the best thing I can say to you is you treat everyone the same, whether they're a staffer, whether they're a colleague. Uh, you are truly, truly a wonderful person. Um, coming from the Republican on this committee, you have been a great finance chair. You have been open to my ideas. You have been willing to push the envelope, especially with the veterans tax exemption. Uh, we've passed bids together. Uh, you've been a great partner. Um, you and I sitting in endless committee hearings uh, in the afternoons and, 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 and making sure we hold agencies and commissioners um, responsible. Um, you have just been a fabulous leader, but for me, more importantly, you're a wonderful friend. Um, that will never change. I, I wish you and your wonderful family all the best. So God bless you and your family. We are certainly going to miss you here in the council. I personally will miss your friendship every day, but you know that won't end, and uh, we'll continue to talk every day, and uh, we all love you. And uh, with that, I will vote aye. A vote of eight in the affirmative, zero in the negative, and no abstentions. Both items have been adopted by the committee. Thank you, and again, thank you to all my colleagues. I'm going to take this transcript and like read it in Maryland all the time because it was very um, powerful. Thank you. Um, uh, I also wanted to take this moment to thank the sergeant at arms who have been with us and the people who do all of our video work so that our parents could watch us at home. I think we actually have like our parents are the only ones that watch this at home. <laughs> so I want to thank them for the, their amazing work and their diligence and to all of our district staffs and all of your staffs because they, they are the ones that hold us up at the end of the day. So thank you all. Um, I am humbled and um, 
really have, I don't, I don't have enough words to thank all of you for everything you've done. Um, for those of you that I've known for 20 plus years, to those that I've just met recently, um, I hope that you have felt my love and appreciation for all of you. Muchisimas gracias. And we will have this uh, committee open for an additional 15 minutes for additional members. I thank you. I felt like I needed to gavel out, and I can't gavel out now because we're going to keep it open. Yeah, uh, that would be dramatic. dramatic, right? <laughs> <Gavel out. laughs> um, but again, we'll keep uh, uh, staff. Please let your members know we're going to keep the role open for 15 minutes. Muchísimas gracias to all of you. Thank you.